Arsenal three changes from the defeat at Manchester United. Roar, who scored back-to-back -back hat tricks in September, gets her first start since then. She's been out with injury. A little starting for the first time since injury in the Cup semi-final seven games ago. And Maya comes in at right back for only her third start this season. Uh, Wilbur Moy moves into centre back with Schneiderbeck missing, uh, missing, and Van der Donk can go to the bench for Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea unchanged, as we were saying, from the big win over Everton. Beth England's two goals and two assists keep her in ahead of Kerr. She played a role in all nine games for the home side, uh, for the Chelsea side this season. Millie Bright, G. So Yun and Erin Cuthbert have also uh, played an ever-present role. Still no Fran Kirby. She's out with an injury. Well, here are the substitutes for you. Big experience on both and Guru right and back in the picture now for Chelsea. She was missing uh, last weekend. She's played a major part for them uh, last season. Van der Donk, a little bit surprised she's only on the bench. What do you think? Yeah, um, I, I just think he's gone for a change. I think you need to shake it up from, from last week's performance and start an 11. But you also, in derby games like this, you also need a game changer. And she's certainly that for Arsenal. Uh, sports and uh, society battles racism around the world. This is their message. Off we go then, Arsenal in the red and white, famously kicking from left to right in this first half against the reigning WSL champions and they're on the front foot straight away and it's cleared away by anne Katrin Berger but not really effectively and Jill Rord has it for Arsenal, played it back to Leone Maia who's battled her way through there and she's just seen off in the end by Magdalena Eriksson, the Chelsea captain, the Swedish international a good front foot start, though, by Arsenal here, Laura. Really positive. They can change the pattern of a game in a blink of an eye. It was her birthday yesterday at Penilla Hard at turn 28. And the crossing towards Beth England, who also scored against Arsenal this season in the Continental Cup victory 4-1. Anderson's delivery all season has been spot on. You know, when you give her time and space out wide, she will deliver those pinpoint crosses Switched out wide to the right-hand side. Good ball to bring in Beth Mead. Meyer on the overlap. She decided to get the cross in towards Miedemar. Just too high for her. It was a good look from Beth Mead. I think she waited and waited, which was the right decision because the only Mayer was making the overlapping run. She was waited, which automatically drops the defender off. You can see Anderson. She's concerned with Maya, which gives Beth Mead a little bit of extra time to deliver the cross, but just couldn't get it on Miedemar's head. G. Uh, that's decent pressure in the end by Arsenal. It paid off and four goes for goal and it hits the woodwork. That's the closest we've come to a goal. Bounced off the woodwork twice. Punched away, nearly came. Back to Arsenal, and eventually it's away wide. That's extraordinary. Big mistake by Chelsea and Ingle, a misplaced pass. I don't think she looked where she was going. It was quite routine. But then suddenly they got numbers forward. And the effort hits the bar and comes down again and hits the bar twice. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, me, me neither. And I think, again, in this fixture in the Continental Cup, where Chelsea ran out 4-1 winners, the one goal that was scored by Arsenal was scored by Caitlin Ford, and it was a, exactly the same, a long-range shot that beat Carly Telford in goal that day. Well, Sam Kerr has three goals this season, but the criticism of her is that she's had a lot of chances to score those goals. She's on the left-hand side there. It comes in towards England. That's the first chance of the second half, and Chelsea very much here starting on the offence of the second period. I don't think... Beth England realised what such a good chance that was. Great pick up by Harder. Look, she's central in between the two centre backs. She's got so much more time. She could even maybe bring it onto a preferred right foot. That's a big chance that is for Chelsea to, to take. I think Erin Cuthbert was a little bit calm and collected. Normally we see her volley them in with the laces. I think she tried to be too precise with the side foot. Ericsson, calm as you like. Oh, and the goalkeeper got herself into a pickle there. She really didn't look very decisive with the ball at her feet. Under pressure there from Beth Mead. 
indecision. I think she looked to, to play it out to the right side, changed her mind, but all credit to Beth England, she stays at her. Ruba Moy, touch was heavy. She was too strong though for harder in the challenge. Ten minutes gone in the second half. With me with the run. Gonna take on Jonna Anderson, who's won that particular battle, I would say, today, wouldn't you? And here come Arsenal again. Me back into the box. That's a very good intervention at the last moment by Ericsson to stop at. January 19 was their last defeat at home to Birmingham. That's on the attack there with me. Strong run. And we know she's got a lash of a shot, and Magdalena Eriksson just stepped across in the end. I think you saw by Mead's reaction there, she shrugged her shoulders, put her arms out, because I'm not too sure if she had much other options but to shoot. She got, only got the one goal this season, but she had five assists, because she does create for others, and there was no other around her. Here's Mead. She really came through as an England player in the She Believes Cup in the USA in 2019, when she scored two against uh, Brazil and Japan. Had a terrific tournament there, and what is a very good tournament uh, each year. Hope it can go ahead in 2021. Here's Kerr now going ahead of the Arsenal defence. Sam Kerr, chance here for Chelsea. Brilliant challenge. Side saving challenge by Katie McKay. And that's the warning that Sam Kerr, you always have to defend properly and beware of the space. A mistake by Wuben Moy and Kerr's in. But a great recovery defending from McCabe. Look at her, she's putting in a shift. She knows get goal side. A, a little bit of a bigger touch, and there she is. McCabe's dealing with the situation. Great read, great tackle. Production centre for talent. The elder, G. Dangerous ball into the box, looking for Kerr, and there comes back out and harder. Denied. Nil nil it stays. Ball into the box, and look, both centre backs were preoccupied with Kerr. Great ball from G. Look at them, and then exactly that falls, falls to Penil harder perfectly. In the mix, Mead takes it. Williamson coming in, had oh, she has to hit the target from there. Great run in, well timed, good leap, got between the defenders and horribly missed the target. It had everything, didn't it? Please go to atafootball.com. Good stuff on that. Here's Miedemar to run at Millie Bright. Miedemar into the box, can't she finish the far post? She didn't finish, but she set up surely the winner for Beth Mead. Five minutes to go, Arsenal 1, Chelsea 0, and it's been coming for the last two or three minutes. We thought Miedemar would have a big role to play yet, and she played that role. What a fantastic run that is. We've already said Millie Bright struggling with her knee, heavily strapped. What a fantastic ball, and the timing of Beth Mead, she knows she keeps up with Miedemar, she's running at great pace. Great ball, she's put it on a plate for Beth Mead. Berger had no chance. What great combination, but that's the first time that we've seen Miedemar pick up the ball and really drive at the heart of the Chelsea defence. The star names have been well dealt with, and I think it was only the injury to Millie Bright that prevented her dealing with Miedemar with the run for the goal. Here's Harder on the outside now for Wuben Moy, and the cross is dipped in. Wow, what a freakish equaliser. Deflected off Lotto, Wuben Moy, and Chelsea are back in it 1-1. Just saying she's had a quiet game, Penilla Harder. And she pops up with a decisive cross and ends up in the back of the net. Cruel fortune for Arsenal. 1-1 now, Chelsea back in it. So strange is, I thought Wuben Moy was going to get there, it was going to go out for a corner, but so strange, looping over Zinsberger. You know, can she do better to read that situation? Timing of a jump? What, an, what a really, really sloppy way to allow Chelsea back into this game. That's poor goalkeeping, isn't it? Uh, it's poor, really poor, to not read that situation and get your start position and the timing of your jump better. And if you are to entrust winning the league to this centre-back pairing, pairing for Arsenal, you're going to have to see a great deal of improvement out of them. Kerr's in behind, Kerr loops it for a winner, just wide. Again, the Arsenal centre-back pairing, suspect. Kerr gets free, big chance. Big moment. It hasn't ended up in the back of the net. Dangerous ball down the side of the Arsenal centre backs. But he hasn't been that happy with a lot of what he's seen today from his team. 
It'll swing away from goal, punched out by uh, Berger. Misplaced the ball back inside the box by Meyer, and Chelsea can fly on the counter, and they want to win this, and Harder's through the middle. Curse ball cut out, absolutely crucially cut out. And really well played, Leo Valtic. High ball into the box, Mini Bright deals with it very well. And the full-time whistle blows, two late goals. One apiece, Mead scoring for Arsenal with five minutes to go. But Chelsea got an equaliser with a lucky deflection off Lottie Wubenmoy for an own goal from Penilla Harder's cross. And it's a point apiece here in the London derby. It's Arsenal 1, Chelsea 1.